Mmm. Mmm. Well, well, well. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, it came in too shy. I can pick that one up, though. Yeah, you should make this one. No problem. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo. In case you missed my last video, my uh, life on the road as a traveling nomad has come to a short, hopefully temporary little pause here as we uh, repair some damage. The uh, hit and delayed run, everybody lost their mind saying he was not a hit and run. It was, I mean, he stopped, gave me a fake name, then went to get his insurance and took off. Therefore, it was a hit and run. <laughs> anyway, I have some updates today. Moving in the right direction, okay. Yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. And... <laughs> Would you believe it if I told you that I drove straight to my shop here in East Alton, Illinois now? So, from Los Angeles, California, to East Alton, Illinois, just on the other side of the river from St. Louis, Missouri. Because... Well, let's go inside and have a little chat here. I know I'm doing everything wrong and you guys know exactly how I should have done this the right way, but I'm doing it my way. That's because I don't want to be stuck in Los Angeles. I've had friends who had a seemingly, you know, simple insurance claim turn into month and month and month after month ordeal. And uh, I don't want to sit in an RV with my kitties and have to find a place to live in Los Angeles, in California, with prices of gas going over $6 a gallon. So. I came back to my shop. That's, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is my shop. This is, this is my livelihood. This is my storage unit. This is my, we got, we got Black Betty over there. Hang on. The boys at uh, Modified Auto gave her some bling. I can change it to any color I want with a complete underglow kit there. And uh, if it weren't raining, I would be riding the bike more. So we had the inspection. The claims adjuster showed up for the inspection on the motorhome and they have their little estimate. We're good to go. I, here's the weird part. Maybe not weird, but as someone who's not dealt with this before, um, in order to expedite this process, you see they actually, they have not ruled in my favor yet on this, technically on paper. They're still waiting for the police report to be finalized. So therefore, even though there's, Geico is gonna wait until it's official and we can just sit here and wait until they decide to finish it, or I can pay my $500 deductible up front and get this ball rolling. Go pick a shop somewhere here in St. Louis, which is what we're gonna do in this, in this video. And then once everything gets sorted, I'll get my $500 back. If it drags on for months or a year, whatever, keep the 500. It's a little ridiculous. I just need to get my RV fixed. So uh, at the end of the video, Hopefully we'll be going to look at a shop. In the meantime, you notice all these boxes here and a little bit different look here in the main shop area. That's because this is the before I'm going to set up my Mickey Mouse collection all right there, which is all these boxes, all those boxes, and a crap ton of stuff underneath the bed in my RV. That's what we're doing in this video. So thanks for joining me, guys. I know this isn't my usual thing. We'll try to get back to normal here as soon as I can, but thank you guys for being patient and understanding that I am sharing my real life. Uh, instead of some channels that might just disappear for months at a time and not say anything, I'm gonna, you guys are gonna stay right here with me. I hope you will, and we'll get back to traveling here soon. Hopefully, before the start of the summer, get back on pace, okay? Yeah, got some work to do. So much Mickey stuff to go through. <laughs> All right, so an hour later, and we're starting to see things form here in the shop. So my 10 shelves from, uh, you know, base camp when I had set this up, 
uh, it's a different arrangement, obviously. We're not in a little square room. We have a lot more space. So I'm using this wall, which is also where the uh, loft is upstairs. That's my line. So eight of them this way, two over here. But you can also see that I saved some paint when I did this at the house by not painting everything. So see, black, black legs there. And you can see I must have had these flipped around a different way because the front isn't even painted on here. So uh, before we go to bed tonight, I'm going to do some touch up. Thankfully, thankfully, I did save a little bit of paint, two full cans. So uh, I'll come up here and uh, paint this now that I am confident that this is the way I'm going to uh, display the 10 shelves. And uh, I do need to go back to the RV and grab my magnets. Here's my massive magnet board back there that I got to bring out still with room for the other ones I've collected on the road. Use proper ventilation. Don't do what I do. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And just like that, take one more step back. Did all my fixes. It ain't perfect. But uh, I'm really happy with that. So I will let that dry, turn the fan on tonight overnight. We'll get back to this in the morning, setting up the collection. Yeah, in case you can't hear, it's uh, raining pretty good here in Illinois. Well, why is that no surprise to me? <laughs> All right, well, let's quickly hop over here to the shop real quick so that I can show you some stuff here. Very, very moist here. Okay, I need to better light this whole section up. What I'm probably going to do is put some, we call those strip lights up here. But man, <laughs> the collection looks so much better in this space than it did in that tiny room of base camp. So, and going all the way back to where this all started. Yeah, many of you know this, this Mickey phone right here started my Mickey Mouse collection from Metropolis, Illinois, right here, the home of Superman. That started all of this craziness. Got my thermos cups. I got all my plastic and my tin lunch boxes displayed everywhere. These are all of my radios. Uh, my race car collection, my most prized Mickey collectible of all my Mickey Mouse Club record player right there in better condition than the one at the Walt Disney Museum in Marceline, Missouri. Mine's better. Mickey's Jacks. Oh, man. A lot of sentimental value in this collection. This is my vintage shelf here. Everything in here is uh, very, very old. What a, what a collection it has become. It's crazy. Uh, I got a ways to go. A uh, lady in Katy, Texas holds the Guinness World Record most Mickey Mouse stuff at over 10,000 because uh, she has 6,000 individual little Mickey pins. So she has the biggest collection. No, she has the most quantity of Mickey Mouse stuff. I think I have the biggest collection, the most valuable collection, the most variety of Mickey Mouse stuff, and it does make me really happy to see the collection. Years and years and so many miles put on. Also, the motorcycle trailer, I'm, uh, well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking before we leave. Got one more last chance before the summer. Do you want to take Tater Tot or Black Betty, the Harley? So, no, I'm not ready for that de decision just yet. <laughs> All right, well, just finished my first stop at an auto body shop. That was a uh, Cross Auto and Truck Repair here in uh, Edwardsville. Just got done talking to him in there. Good news is, no matter what, they are willing to fix it. Uh, whether it's fiberglass repair, but he looked at the pictures and was wondering why they're not just going to put an entire new cap on because a new cap, if in stock, would take two days. The fiberglass repair from the pictures is a week and a half of multiple workers doing fiberglass repair alone and then color match. So, um, unfortunately, the big problem is his next appointment available here at Cross Auto is in July. And now we get to this part where it's like, 
what's the point of insurance? Even like when I had Camping World, you could have anything installed at Camping World with the Good Sam's membership. But, you know, if your fridge goes out, you know, they're six to eight months out at Camping World and you live in your RV. 2.2 million of us live in our RV and it's really stressful. And I understand this is this is a small, this is a small like family owned company here. There are some bigger companies, but I don't think I'm going to have as good a luck as far as explaining that I live in my RV and I'm on the road right now. And this is just a stop on my travels. I don't know where I'm going to, Am I really going to stay here? I'm like, that's four months from now. Got one more shop I want to look at here and ask them as well. But this place also told me that they can start it uh, simply with um, my claim number and they need the estimate from my insurance. Even if my insurance estimate is way lower than what they think it's going to be, they still work all that out and everything. But anyway, let's try one more. All right, I'm going to try this other one stock auto body <laughs> i'm tired of the rain already but we'll go try this one there's a really nice lobby by the way i waiting to talk to a technician nope they won't touch my rv they won't touch anything big <laughs> and just got a flat tire thanks for that and i don't have the compressor because i'm not in the rv boy when it rains it pours here all right, well, can't get a tire here, so I've got David from Modified Auto help me out. We're gonna pull this tire off and go try to find a used one here. At least the rain has stopped. It's just windy right now. Knock the whole chunk off. We just uh, stopped by his house to. Yeah, there's there's the air leak right there. That's the problem. Gonna try to plug it just to see if that works first before uh, going to get that used tire since this is a brand new tire. See if the plug holds. It's gonna be more than one. That's not. It's a big gash. Yeah, you don't want to do that, especially driving 50 or 60. All right, we got a tire. It's got air. They're here at uh, Cheapies. All right, the brain has stopped at least. Today has just been a day of catching up. Everything I wanted to do didn't work out. <laughs> I just finally got caught up with all the new stuff. We got a we got a used tire on here. Conti Pro contact okay um now knowing that there's a nationwide shortage of rubber for a smart car when we were there i also asked them hey do you have any more <laughs> I, what i really wanted was a spare tire like an extra wheel spare tire but he said yeah actually we got all four of them they came off of another smart car so i said give them to me 35 bucks a piece don't know the history or anything of them um Man, if you're traveling on the road, guys, don't pay extra for some warranty that you can't use when you leave. It's We don't know why that tire exploded off, off like that. Um, not sure. Not sure if I hit something that caused it or just cheap tires. They didn't seem cheap. Gosh. I'm just... Not in a good mood. Opie dopey, how are you doing? I wish I was a kitty cat right now. I wouldn't have any problems. I'd just be a kitty cat. And I'd get butt scratches. Yeah, we just get all these butt scratches. Butt scratches! Butt scratches! Yes, I did get some popcorn from Chef's Shop in town. Best popcorn in the area. Tara Bear. Hi, honey. You guys are probably ready for dinner. It's a half hour early, but we can probably do dinner a little early. Yeah. Look, uh, today stressed me out. I woke up with a solid plan and didn't get anywhere. And now I'm really worried that I may have made a bad choice thinking that the it'd be better to be here at my shop, you know, and close to friends with resources and, 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 and St. Louis, around the other side of the river, 20 minutes away. And uh, I, I can't find anybody to just take the insurance money and fix it. I'm a little frustrated, guys. I expected a little bit better outcome being here and especially just a better outcome today. Today, thankfully the rain has stopped. It's just not been my day. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to try again first thing tomorrow, get back on this and probably cross the river. Uh, I don't know, going to, get, going to the other state. I don't know what to say. I know lots of other people have been through this. It's just very, very frustrating. 
anyways talk to you guys later bye guys